Welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world with special focus on Africa and Nigeria. Guys, it's an interesting news. I want to appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for always being around. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're here to subscribe, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. All right. Um, for those of you that are yet to subscribe, please kindly hit the bell, uh, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon as well, so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you for your support. Welcome on board. I want to appreciate you, and I want to thank you for always being there. All right, this is an exclusive one that we brought to you. You can imagine this is how APC and top government officials spend taxpayers' money and Nigerians' money. It's a shame, and... Uh, but, you know, they are the guys that are in power, and that is why you see that they can do any sort of thing to ensure that they get to power. So this is what it is. All right, this is the news, exclusive. Speaker of Nigerian's House of Assembly, House of Representatives, I beg your pardon. Speaker of the Nigerian's House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, takes 300 guests to Dubai for Mother's 90th birthday on public funds. If calculated by 300 guests, the cost for hotel accommodation alone per night will amount to 36,600 dollars, which is about 13 million 176 thousand naira. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller, is already warming up to stage an elaborate birthday party for his mother. Al-Hajjah Latifat Olufunke Badiabia Mila in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, starting from today, March the 2nd. The fanfare and lavish celebration to mark the woman's 90th birthday is expected to run until March 10 in the glittering Arab city. Some of Nigerians high and mighty, including politicians living fat on public funds, are expected to grace the occasion. Already, reservations for guests have been made at the Conrad Hilton Hotel on Sheikh Zayed Road, Dubai, where the least room goes for $122, that's about 43920 naira per night. If calculated by 300 guests, the cost for hotel accommodation alone per night will amount to $36,600. That is 13 million 176,000 naira. Findings also reveal that the average price for round trip flights from Nigeria to Dubai is currently $637. That's about 229,320 naira. When this is calculated for 300 guests, the total expenditure for airfare falls to 68 million 796,000 naira. A member of the planning team for the lavish celebration hinted that some guests have been booked for special and luxurious accommodation and that top personalities not slotted into private jets have already been booked for special seats on commercial airlines heading to Dubai. According to the source, but Abia Miller could be spending over, could be spending well over 500 million naira to ensure his mother gets a befitting 90th birthday celebration, going by the caliber of guests that would be grazing the occasion. The source further gathered that Al Haja Abia Miller played a pivotal role in her son's foray into politics. Hence, the speaker is prepared to celebrate her in a big way, especially as she reaches the milestone age of 90. Known to splash the cash when celebrating persons special to him, Bajabia Mila, in May 2018, gifted his wife, Salamatu, an exotic Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon on her 50th birthday, set to cost around 100 million naira. However, apart from living large on public funds, 
Bajabia Miller is also known to have a questionable past. Recall that he was found guilty by the U.S. Supreme Court of Georgia in February 2007 of stealing $25,000 from his client and suspended from law practice for 36 months. Femi Bajabia Miller, as he, as he was known in the case file, Femi Baja, accepted payment of $25,000 as a personal injury claims and deposited those funds in his attorney trust account in January 2003. He failed to disburse the funds to his clients, instead withdrawing it, closing his practice and returning to Nigeria where he ran for elections to represent Surulere Federal Surulere one federal constituency in the House of Representatives under the Alliance for Democracy in 2003. Upon arrival in Nigeria, curiously, he adopted a longer version of his surname, Bajabia Mila, ostensibly to peel off his suspicious past. The speaker has refused to talk about the matter whenever confronted by Nigerian journalists. Well, guys, that's the news story. You can hear um, what the news has said, and um, it is what it is. This is how Nigerian politicians feed fat on, you know, public funds. A woman who, you know, is clocking 90, celebrating 90th birthday, they have decided to take her to Dubai. You know, if Wajabi Amila is a or if he was a businessman you know people would probably not question this particular move but the fact that he's a nigerian politician and you know he's a public officer raises concern as to why people would you know put eyes into these moves and uh, why people will conclude that he's actually spending taxpayers money else where would he be expected to get such amount of money to lavish on a 90-year-old woman just for a birthday, which is not even being celebrated in Nigeria, but in expensive Dubai. Now he's moving guests, over 300 guests has been said to be traveling uh, to Dubai, you know, to grace the occasion of his mother's 90th birthday. Look at the amount involved close to a hundred thousand hundred million naira you know it's just um appalling it's unfortunate that this is what is happening how our politicians feed fat on nigerians public funds and they give back little to the people look at what is going on why not celebrate, even if he has to celebrate the birthday, you know, in Dubai? Why 300 people? Fine, as a speaker of the House of Representatives, he has access to the cash, he has access to, um, you know, so much money and what have you. So, But I don't believe that that gives him the right to, you know, expend such amount of money where Nigerians are suffering, where there is unemployment, where there is so, so many Nigerians cannot feed or are, do not have the privilege to be able to eat and eat well. You know, where healthcare is actually, you know, luxury for a good number of Nigerians, you know. So one would expect that all this type of amount of money would be channeled, you know, to achieve better things, you know, that would help uh, put people or make the lives of Nigerians and citizens much more better. But look at what the APC government are doing and look at how they are expending taxpayers' money. Where else would you expect that the Speaker of the House of Reps will get this amount of money from? What business is he into? What business does he do? No, to the best of my knowledge, or no business, he doesn't have any business. I stand to be corrected if I'm, if I'm wrong, you know? but not known business yet that has been attributed to him. So how is he, how does he make such amount of money? So where did he get such amount of money from? You can see that our public officers don't even care 
about how we see them, what we say about them, and how people actually see them. They don't care and they don't uh, give a damn. They just want to spend money and live life, live large the way they want to live their life. Well, that is what it is. That is how APC government and these politicians are spending taxpayers' money. Well, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? Kindly drop by the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share this news story with friends, family, relations and loved ones. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful time.